Pippin the Younger, often known under the mistranslation Pippin the Short, was a king of the Franks from 751 until his death. He was the first of the Carolingians to become king, the younger son of the Frankish prince Charles Martel. Pepin's upbringing was distinguished by the ecclesiastical education he had received from the monks of St. Denis, succeeding his father as the mayor of the palace in 741. Pepin reigned over Francia jointly with his elder brother Carloman. Pepin ruled in Neustria, Burgundy, and Provence, while his brother Carloman established himself in Austrasia, Alemannia and Thuringia. The brothers were active in subjugating revolts led by the Bavarians, Aquitanians, Saxons, and the Alemanni in the early years of their reign. In 743, they ended the Frankish interregnum by choosing Childeric III, who was to be the last Merovingian monarch, as figurehead king of the Franks. Being well disposed towards the church and papacy on account of their ecclesiastical upbringing, Pepin and Karl Oman continued their father's work in supporting St. Boniface in reforming the Frankish church and evangelizing the Saxons. After Karl Oman, who was an intensely pious man, retired to religious life in 747, Pepin became the sole ruler of the Franks. He suppressed a revolt led by his half-brother Grifo, and succeeded in becoming the undisputed master of all Francia. Giving up pretense, Pepin then forced Childeric into a monastery and had himself proclaimed king of the Franks with support of Pope Zachary in 751. The decision was not supported by all members of the Carolingian family and Pepin had to put down a revolt led by Karl Oman's son, Drogo and again by Grifo. As king, Pepin embarked on an ambitious program to expand his power. He reformed the legislation of the Franks and continued the ecclesiastical reforms of Boniface. Pepin also intervened in favor of the papacy of Stephen II against the Lombards in Italy. He was able to secure several cities, which he then gave to the Pope as part of the donation of Pepin. This formed the legal basis for the Papal States in the Middle Ages. The Byzantines, keen to make good relations with the growing power of the Frankish Empire, gave Pepin the title of Patricius. In wars of expansion, Pepin conquered Septimania from the Islamic Umayyads and subjugated the southern realms by repeatedly defeating Wafer of Aquitaine and his Basque troops, after which the Basque and Aquitanian lords saw no option but to pledge loyalty to the Franks. Pepin was, however, troubled by the relentless revolts of the Saxons and the Bavarians. He campaigned tirelessly in Germany, but the final subjugation of these tribes was left to his successors. Pepin died in 768 and was succeeded by his sons Charlemagne and Carloman. Although unquestionably one of the most powerful and successful rulers of his time, Pepin's reign is largely overshadowed by that of his more famous son, Assumption of Power. Pepin's father Charles Martel died in 741. He divided the rule of the Frankish kingdom between Pepin and his elder brother, Karl Oman, his surviving sons by his first wife. Karl Oman became mayor of the palace of Austrasia. Pepin became mayor of the palace of Neustria. Grifo, Charles's son by his second wife, Swanerhild, demanded a share in the inheritance. But he was imprisoned in a monastery by his two half-brothers. In the Frankish realm the unity of the kingdom was essentially connected with the person of the king. So Karl Oman, to secure this unity, raised the Merovingian Childeric to the throne. Then in 747 Karl Oman either resolved to or was pressured into entering a monastery. This left Francia in the hands of Pepin as sole mayor of the palace and Dux a princeps francorum. At the time of Karl Oman's retirement, Grifo escaped his imprisonment and fled to Duke Odilo of Bavaria, who was married to Hiltruda, Pepin's sister. Pepin put down the renewed revolt led by his half-brother and succeeded in completely restoring the boundaries of the kingdom. Under the reorganization of Francia by Charles Martel, the Duxe Princeps Francorin was the commander of the armies of the kingdom. In addition to his administrative duties as mayor of the palace, 
and specifically commander of the Standing Guard which Charles Martel had begun maintaining year-round since the Battle of Toulouse in 721. First Carolingian king, as mayor of the palace, Pepin was subject to the decisions of Childeric III who had only the title of king but no power, since Pepin had control over the magnates and actually had the power of O king, he now addressed to Pope Zachary a suggestive question, in regard to the kings of the Franks who no longer possess the royal power, is this state of things proper, hard pressed by the Lombards? Pope Zachary welcomed this move by the Franks to end an intolerable condition and lay the constitutional foundations for the exercise of the royal power. The Pope replied that such a state of things is not proper. The de facto power is more important than the de jure power. After this decision the throne was declared vacant. Childeric III was deposed and confined to a monastery. He was the last of the Merovingians. According to ancient custom, Pepin was then elected king of the Franks by an assembly of Frankish nobles, with a large portion of his army on hand. Meanwhile, Grifo continued his rebellion, but was eventually killed in the Battle of saint jean de Maurienne in 753, anointed a first time in 751 in Soissons by the Boniface, Archbishop of Mainz. Pepin added to his power after Pope Stephen II travelled all the way to Paris to anoint him a second time in a lavish ceremony at the Basilica of St. Denis in 754, bestowing upon him the additional title of Patricius Roman Aurium and is the first recorded crowning of a civil ruler by a pope. As life expectancies were short in those days, and Pepin wanted family continuity, the Pope also anointed Pepin's sons, Charles and Karl Oman. Expansion of the Frankish realm Pepin's first major act as king was to go to war against the Lombard king Aistulf, who had expanded into the Ducatus Romanus. Victorious, he forced the Lombard king to return property seized from the church. He confirmed the papacy in possession of Ravenna and the Pentapolis, the so-called donation of Pepin, whereby the papal states were established and the temporal reign of the papacy began. At about 752, he turned his attention to Septimania. The new king headed south in a military expedition down the Rhone Valley and received the submission of eastern Septimania after securing Count Ansermondes' allegiance. The Frankish king went on to invest Narbonne, the main Umayyad stronghold in Septimania, but didn't manage to capture it from Iberian Muslims until seven years later in 759, when they were driven out to Hispania. However, Aquitaine still remained under Wafer's Basque Aquitanian rule out of Frankish reach. Wafer appears to have confiscated church lands, maybe distributing them among his troops. In 760, after conquering the Roussillon from the Muslims and denouncing Duke Wafer's actions, Pepin moved his troops over to Toulouse and Albi, ravaged with fire and sword most of Aquitaine, and, in retaliation, counts loyal to Wafer ravaged Burgundy. Pepin, in turn, attacked the Aquitanian held Clermont and Bourbon, defended by Wafer's Basque troops, who were overcome captured and deported into northern France with their children and wives. In 763, Pepin advanced further into the heart of Wafer's domains and captured major strongholds, after which Wafer counterattacked and war got bitter. Pepin opted to spread terror, burning villas, destroying vineyards and depopulating monasteries. By 765, the brutal tactic seemed to pay off for the Franks, who destroyed resistance in central Aquitaine and devastated the whole region. As a result, Aquitanian nobles and Basques from beyond the Garonne too saw no option but to accept a pro-Frankish peace treaty. Wafer escaped but was assassinated by his own frustrated followers. Legacy Pepin died during a campaign in 768 at the age of 54. He was interred in the Church of St. Denis. His wife Bertrada was also interred there in 783. Charlemagne rebuilt the basilica in honor of his parents and placed markers at the entrance. 
The Frankish realm was divided according to the Salic law between his two sons, Charlemagne and Carloman I. Historical opinion often seems to regard him as the lesser son and lesser father of two greater men, though a great man in his own right. He continued to build up the heavy cavalry which his father had begun. He maintained the standing army that his father had found necessary to protect the realm and form the core of its full army in wartime. He not only contained the Iberian Muslims as his father had, but drove them out of what is now France and, as important, he managed to subdue the Aquitanians and the Basques after three generations of on-off clashes so opening the gate to central and southern Gaul and Muslim Iberia. He continued his father's expansion of the Frankish church and the institutional infrastructure that would prove the backbone of medieval Europe. His rule, while not as great as either his father's or son's, was historically important and of great benefit to the Franks as a people. Pepin's assumption of the crown, and the title of Patrician of Rome, were harbingers of his son's imperial coronation which is usually seen as the founding of the Holy Roman Empire. He made the Carolingians de jure what his father had made him de facto, the ruling dynasty of the Franks and the foremost power of Europe. While not known as a great general, he was undefeated during his lifetime. Family Pepin married Lutberga from the Danube region. They had five children. She was repudiated some time after the birth of Charlemagne and her children were sent to convents. In 741, Pepin married Bertrada of Laon. Her father, Charibert, was the son of Pepin II's brother, Martin of Laon. They are known to have had eight children, at least three of whom survived to adulthood. Charles, Carl Oman, Gisela, Pepin, died in infancy. Cortes, died young, buried in Metz. Adelaide, died young, buried in Metz two unnamed daughters.